Hello and welcome to Ask a Pastor. I'm here with Pastor Mike Reed at Grace Fellowship Church in Davenport, Iowa. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of any past Ask a Pastor shows or any uh, coming up Ask a Pastor shows, be sure to go to our website, gracefellowshipqc.com. Uh, you'll see the Ask a Pastor link. You can send us your questions um, and see all of our shows on there. So we'll get into today's, today's question. Um, Pastor Mike, would you marry a heterosexual couple who is living together? So uh, let's start with a heterosexual couple who's living together. Assumptive in that question would be um, sleeping together. Uh, I'm assuming that if they're living together, and even if they weren't sleeping together, they're still practicing things that married people ought to be doing. So I'm going to assume in that question, living together means sleeping together and, and fornicating. So the first place we start with is, uh, as they come ask that question, the first thing I want to determine with them and is, is their relationship with God is what? Who they believe Christ to be. Because for people who live in fornication, uh, they're either, they're prob most probably not believers, almost for sure. Or if they're believers, they're new believers who are ignorant to God's Word. So we'd start to show them the sin of fornication and then see what kind of reaction you got to that. Because I, 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 don't, I don't plan on marrying non-believers, either two non-believers, even though I believe that they should be married. God ordains that for everyone. Um, I won't put a spiritual blessing on a, on a wedding of two unbelievers. So um, these folks in this scenario, I would assume, are saying, hey, I'm, we're believers, um, so would you marry us? Well, I'd first start with that, showing them their sin. And if they are believers, then I would expect they would repent. And without even being requested, but if, if need be requested, that they, they stop living together. They immediately stop fornicating. They immediately stop living like married people as we then go into... Uh, a preparation for a wedding. Uh, if they're unwilling to do that, then they're unwilling to, they're unrepentant sinners, and I'm certainly not going to marry unrepentant sinners who would call themselves Christians. Okay. Thanks for that answer. 